so in this video we are going to see the selection process and the exam pattern of stipendary training recruitment for diploma and science graduates for NPCL okay so a lot of people was actually telling me that they are not uh, aware of the exam pattern and the uh, selection process of NPCL so there is a recruitment happening for stipendary trainees for diploma and B science graduate that is for BSc okay so uh, in this video we will be seeing the detailed selection process and the exam pattern mainly okay so the selection process consists of two parts first one is the written examination and the second one is a personal interview okay so the written examination is a computer based examination and there will be written exam for the stipendary trainee diploma and also for stipendary trainee science graduate also for both this category of stipendary trainee recruitments the selection process is same there will be written examination then there will be personal interview okay so first let us see the written exam pattern for stipendary trainee diploma people okay so the written examination consists of 100 questions and the time duration is 2 hours and there will be additional 20 minutes given to the disabled people okay so for those category the time duration will be 2 hours plus 20 minutes for all the other categories the time duration is 2 hours there will be 100 questions okay now in the question the questions will be divided as two parts there is a part one which is consisting of the general sessions and the part two will have questions from your trade that is whichever diploma trade you belong to whether civil or electrical or electronics from that trade there will be questions okay now let's see in detail okay so there is total 100 questions and in the part one there will be 30 questions from the general session and the general session consists of english general awareness and quantitative aptitude there is 10 questions from english there is 10 question from general awareness and there is 10 question from general aptitude if general aptitude means simple mathematics aptitude questions okay general awareness will be generally uh, the science related topics the uh, the history topics all those things can come then there will be english session also totally there is 10 plus 10 plus 10 totally 30 questions is there and these questions will have a standard of 10th class okay so the this questions is only having a 10th class standard so simple questions will be there so to, that is all about the 30 questions and it is coming under the part one for part two you will have to face the questions from your respective trade or respective subject there will be 70 questions and these questions will be from your diploma syllabus okay so totally 30 plus 70 100 questions will be there for two hours so that is the written exam pattern for stipendary trainee diploma next for the stipendary trainee science graduate again there is two parts part one consists of english general awareness and quantitative aptitude same as that of the stipendary trainee diploma here also there is 10 questions from english 10 questions from general awareness and from quantitative aptitude 10 questions again totally part 1 consists of 30 questions here also the questions of the part 1 will be from 10th level or 10th class standard okay next part 2 will have questions from your bsc subject so they have called science graduate from physics and chemistry so for physics people you have to face questions from the physics subject for chemistry people the questions will be from chemistry there will be 70 questions and these questions will have a standard of bsc syllabus okay so that is all about the written exam pattern and the details for uh, the that is a first part of selection okay so next is a marking scheme so we have seen the exam pattern that is what all questions will come and which all areas you have to cover okay next is a marking scheme so the marking scheme is like that there is a one mark given to all correct answers and there is a minus one by four mark that is one by fourth mark is deducted for all incorrect answers okay so there is a negative mark next they have also given the qualifying percentage for the written examination for the general category you require 40 percentage of marks 
for the written exam whether you uh, are writing exam for the diploma or for science graduate stipendary training you require 40 percentage of mark in your written exam to qualify it and for SCST, OBC and disabled people you require only 30 percentage of mark okay so that is all about the qualifying mark details next after the written examination there will be making a short list of the people who are qualified so that is the first stage of selection process which is written examination after the written test there will be a short list made uh, from the qualifying people and number of vacancies into five times of people will be called for the personal interview which is the next stage of selection process and the personal interview will be conducted only after verification of all your documents okay so after written examination if you qualify then there will be document verification only after that there will be personal interview okay so that is the selection process there is written examination then document verification after that there is personal interview and then there will be a merit list made and in that merit list they will be taking 50 percentage of there is 50 percentage weightage is given to the written exam and 50 percentage weightage is given to the personal interview okay so that is the weightage given to the written exam and the personal interview 50 50 percentage is given this equal weightage is given to the written exam and the personal interview and if there is some tie happening in the uh, merit list that is a final merit list the tie breaker they will be taking either age as a qualify uh, uh, as a benchmark or a the mark of written examination or the mark of your personal interview will be taken as a tie breaking standard okay so that is all about the selection process we have seen about the written examination pattern the marking scheme the qualifying percentage everything we have seen and also we have seen which all sections you have to prepare there is part one and part two in part one you have to prepare from the general uh, topics that is quantity aptitude english subject and also general awareness you have to prepare and in the part two there, there is 70 questions and you have to prepare your subject okay for science graduate you have to prepare 70 uh, questions from your bsc subject and for diploma the questions will be from the corresponding diploma trade okay so that's all about the selection process and the exam pattern i'm really hoping that this video was useful because a lot of people was actually telling me to make a video on the exam pattern and the selection process so i'm really hoping that this video helps if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends who's who has applied for the NPCL recruitment and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching